Hey guys, we are back here with another video and today I have just received the martial update for the Galaxy S5 and I know guys, um, the Note 4 update was just like a couple of minutes ago and suddenly the S5 video, no, sorry, the S5 update just arrived today in my region, so yeah, I know it's kind of late, it's like two weeks, uh, three weeks late, I mean, other than compared to like other regions that already got it, so my region is kind of slow. Yeah, by the way, this is my S5. This is the SMG uh, 900F model, which is the Snapdragon version. So I'm going to show you guys the Android version first. So here we go. SMG 900F version now is currently 5.0, which is Lollipop. And my build number now is uh, PD2. So let us go ahead and zoom out and let's go to the installation screen. So you can see we have an uh, update here software update let's open it and it clearly says OS upgrade 6.0.1 marshmallow and it says uh, the following functions have been deleted chat on which is the Samsung uh, some, some, some sort of uh, messaging app they got rid of it at last which I never use to be honest so obviously we get new visual interface touch trees interface new design quick connect um, fingerprints kind of same on the note 4 one if you've seen my note 4 video and new vibration pattern uh, all right okay i've done everything already guys i've backed up all my uh, data and i have enough battery so yeah we are ready to upgrade and i've done all this yeah by the way the size here is very i mean not to say very small it's much smaller than the one on the note 4 which is on 1.5 gigs this one is only 887 it's smaller by around uh, 700 megabytes so kind of nice and Alright, so I'm ready. Let's go ahead and install. So it should take some time, maybe about 10 minutes to 15 minutes, depending on my how many apps I have. Uh, but in the in the case of the Note 4, it was pretty fast, so I'm hoping this update will be very fast. So yeah, I'll be right back once the phone is about to reboot, and we can I can show you guys what has changed. And yeah, see you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, guys, it's already re rebooted and it's in this upgrade screen now the same one on note 4 if you see my video and i think it took roughly around the same time around 15 minutes to reach this screen same as the note 4 regardless of the file size so yeah kind of interesting and then you will see once i've optimized all the apps whoa look at that 338 apps so yeah i have a lot of apps so yeah i'll be right back once the phone is in the lock screen Alright guys, so I'm done updating and here's the uh, lock screen. So let's go ahead and just unlock it. Oops. Okay, there we go. So from what I can see, it's changed. The icons are more rounded like on the Galaxy S7. And now uh, let's just... And the clock widget has changed a bit in my opinion. Let's see whether we get the teaming option. We don't get the teaming option. I'm, I'm sure this is... Uh, Kind of normal as they don't uh, update their touch freeze version to their latest one same goes in the note 4 is still using the old touch freeze version which is kind of sad let's just go to the home screen setting and see what oh we get flipboard briefing which is replaced uh, by my magazine no i mean sorry uh, my magazine has been replaced by flipboard briefing now it's really kind of same thing just change the name my opinion so let's see the new wallpapers do we get anything no, we don't get any wallpapers. This is the old stock wallpapers that we get. Right, let's go to settings. Show you guys the Android version I'm running. So about device. Let's change the bit here, the menus here and there. So here we go, Android version 6.1.1, which is Marshmallow. As you can see. Marshmallow Easter egg. There we go. So let's see, we're using the latest Android security patch level, which is May 2016, we have a build number of PDG. Alright, so let's get out of here, let's take a closer look in settings, let's see what has changed. So we do get app permissions, which is part of Marshmallow, so let's just go to applications manager, and let's show you one of the apps demonstrate how it works so there we go let's say uh 
which is going to end by authority let's just check this out this app so you can see it changed the bit here the design and now we have this new tab here called permission so now you can manage what app uses what so let's say this app uses my contacts and I have already allowed it so you can deny it as well so it's up to you okay nice you have full control now and obviously in Marshmallow we also get the battery dose saving feature but I think it's already enabled by default so you don't have to worry about all these things so let's go back and let us see oh yeah we also get Google now on tab so we just hold the home button and it should scan the whole page for information and it should uh, work but I haven't set it up yet so yeah and let us uh, check out uh, what else other apps so we didn't I don't notice any new apps let's add it um, no additional apps so let's go to settings I'm just going to check in app manager whether chat has been removed because they said it was going to be removed is under disable I disabled it yeah chat on is gone they took it out yeah so we have no more chat on which is good I think no one uses it anyway hey guys that's all for this S5 update I'm very sorry to say there's not many changes to the visual you know user the face to be all this pretty much the same but uh, you, you can see like the transitions are a bit different now let's say I go to phone and I get out the phone sorry you can see that oh shit camera just moved right so we can see now you go back you can see it's like a fade out animation and they lock the screen as well also it's like fading out so that's all those minor changes we can see here with the s5 so yeah basically that's about it actually to be honest nothing really much but to show you upgrade to marshmallow um, for now I can say yes because I mean you get the app permissions you get the, all those marshmallow goodies but um, if you're looking for the latest touch -wise, touch -wise version or something like that don't hope for it don't hope for that in this update because you have to get all those high-end flagships like the S6 or the S7 so you guys that's about it for this video I mean uh, I'll be uh, comparing the benchmarks between Dollypop versus marshmallow in my next video for the S5 so check check it out it's coming up soon and as always, subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.